Imagine flying halfway across the world, faster than sound, without the deafening sonic boom. China just revealed the Comac C949, a supersonic jet that could redefine global travel and disrupt the aerospace industry. It's faster than the Concorde, quieter than a hairdryer, and packed with futuristic tech driven by AI. But this isn't just about speed, it's about power, prestige, and rewriting the rules of the sky. In this video, we dive deep into the tech and the global race behind this next-gen jet. Stay tuned, because this isn't just aviation history, it's a glimpse of the future, unfolding now. At the heart of the C-949 lies a question engineers have been chasing since Concorde's final landing. How do you fly faster than sound without creating a sonic boom that bans you from flying over cities? Comac's answer isn't louder, it's smarter. The C-949's body features a reverse camber fuselage, a design that literally bends the rules of aerodynamics. Instead of the traditional curved outward shape seen on most planes, this fuselage dips inward at the midsection. Why? To weaken the shockwaves that create sonic booms. Pair that with an ultra-sleek, needle-shaped nose, and you get a plane that slices through air, splitting pressure pulses instead of slamming into them. But what really makes this bird futuristic is what you don't see, its brain. Comac has equipped the C-949 with an AI-powered fly-by-wire control system that adjusts the aircraft's surfaces up to 100 times per second. That's not just cool tech, it's essential. At speeds beyond Mach 1.6, minor air disturbances become big problems. This system anticipates those challenges in real time, making continuous micro-corrections to keep the plane stable and passengers safe. And let's talk about noise. The C-949 is expected to generate just 83.9 perceived decibels at ground level, that's quieter than a hairdryer, and light years better than the Concorde's thunderous 105 decibels. Sure, NASA's X-59 aims for an even lower 75 decibels, but Comac is not far off, and it's aiming for full-scale commercial viability, not just a test platform. To support those speeds and silence, Comac has opted for twin adaptive cycle turbofan engines. These advanced engines switch between performance modes based on altitude, offering fuel efficiency at cruising altitude and minimizing boom signatures at lower ones. This dual-mode function is crucial because, unlike military jets, the C-949 can't rely on afterburners or brute force, it needs brains over brawn. What's also fascinating is the way the C-949 balances its massive fuel load. With 42,000 kilograms spread across seven internal tanks, it uses real-time dynamic fuel redistribution to stabilize the aircraft during flight. Every element is engineered for balance, silence, and speed. So why does China want a supersonic airliner so badly? The answer goes far beyond fast travel. It's about showing the world who sets the pace in 21st century aviation. The year 2049, when the C-949 is expected to launch, isn't random. It marks the 100th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. The C-949 isn't just a plane, it's a birthday present to the nation's global ambition. Comac, the state-owned aerospace giant building the jet, isn't shy about its goal, to rival Boeing and Airbus and reshape who rules the skies. Let's not forget, Comac is still relatively young. Founded in 2008, its first commercial plane, the regional ARJ-21, struggled with delays and technical hurdles. Then came the narrow-body C-919, aimed at competing with Boeing's 737 and Airbus's A320. And now, it's skipping a generation straight into supersonic. That's a signal. China doesn't just want to compete, it wants to leapfrog. And there's another layer to this story, economics. In today's geopolitical climate, Countries are racing not just for military superiority, but for tech sovereignty. China has seen what dominance in EVs and 5G can do for influence. Aviation is the next frontier. Comac is shielded from commercial pressures that have slowed down competitors. While NASA's X-59 is essentially a government-funded experiment, and boom supersonic still depends on private capital and regulatory approvals, Comac is powered by the full might of the Chinese state. That means resources, time, and ambition, all aligned. Even the jet's design timeline tells a story. Comac plans to release the wide-body C-929 in 2027, then an ultra-long-haul C-939 by 2039, 
and finally the C949 in 2049. It's a staircase of escalation, each model building on the last. In a world where aerospace giants have gone decades without launching a new model, China's rapid-fire roadmap is unprecedented. Of course, it's not without risk. Comac still needs to build and certify engines that don't even exist yet. Its supply chains aren't as mature as those in the West. Three contenders. One goal, bring back supersonic passenger travel without the noise, fuel waste, or political backlash. So how does the C949 compare? Let's start with NASA's X-59, a sleek demonstrator designed purely to test whether quiet supersonic flight is possible. It aims for a whisper like 75 PLDB, even quieter than COMAX 83.9. But there's a catch. The X-59 is not built for passengers, nor for mass production. It's a proof of concept. NASA hopes it can convince regulators to lift the overland flight ban that's been in place since 1971. In other words, X-59 is the door opener, but it's not walking through it. Then there's Boom Supersonics Overture. Privately funded and aggressively marketed, it promises Mach 1.7 cruise speeds and up to 65 passengers. But its biggest trick isn't silence, it's invisibility. Overture uses a technique called Boomless Cruise, flying at altitudes where wind and temperature gradients bend the sonic boom upward, away from the ground you still break the sound barrier. You just don't hear it. But here's where Comac stands out. While X-59 is a one-seater and Boom is still in prototype testing with its XB-1 model, Comac is designing an actual airliner. It may carry fewer passengers, about 28 to 48 in a business class layout, but it's being positioned as a fully functional commercial jet, not a prototype or tech demo. What Comac lacks in glamour, it makes up for in realism. It's designing for sustained Mach 1.6 to 1.7 speeds over oceans first, but potentially over land once global regulations evolve. Its adaptive cycle engines will handle that speed without afterburners, a key difference from military-grade tech. Yes, there are challenges. Comac will need to redesign airport infrastructure, as the C949's long, needle-shaped nose won't fit standard gates. And building a quiet supersonic engine that's also fuel-efficient and reliable? That's a mountain nobody's climbed yet. But here's the twist. China doesn't need to be first. It just needs to be the one that scales. If Boom struggles with funding, and if NASA's work stalls in bureaucracy, Comac's slow and steady timeline could win the race, not by being the flashiest, but by being the most inevitable. The C-949 isn't just an aircraft, it's a statement. A sleek, AI-powered machine engineered not only to fly faster than sound, but to do so with grace, silence, and strategy. Whether or not it launches in 2049, the message is already in the sky. China doesn't want to follow the rules of aviation, it wants to write them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.